Hi and welcome to the configuration series of the Fornera 2.0n. So, um, in our previous video, we installed a uh, a brand new external hard drive, a Philip hard drive, if you remember, and we formatted it um, with the ext3 file system from Linux. I'd used Ubuntu to uh, partition um, and format that external hard drive. And now I have that external hard drive plugged into my Fonera's USB port. Now um, I'm going to show you how you can use that external hard drive to manage your downloads. And um, what we want to do is um, as soon as you plugged in your external hard drive into the Fonera, reboot the Fonera. You can do this two ways. You can do this through the dashboard or you can um, physically uh, take the power plug out and uh, plug it back in again and this should do a reset um, of the Fonera and uh, so currently our setup is uh, we have an external hard drive plugged into our Fonera and of course our Fonera is con connected to the modem uh, so it's getting the, the internet access from the modem and sending it through Wi-Fi and of course don't forget you have to be connected to my place your wireless needs to be connected your 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 Wi-Fi signal needs to be my place or uh, any other name that you have uh, customized your Wi-Fi signal to be. So uh, currently, I am on the dashboard, and uh, I'm going to log in into the dashboard. And if you see here, once you have an external hard drive plugged in, uh, what was previously a crossed USB disk icon is now showing up. Uh, uncross this is a proper icon to show that you have an external hard drive USB based hard drive that is connected and also next to it is a file browser that you can use to access the files in that external hard drive and what I'm going to do first is install torrent so since torrent or transmission which is a torrent program for the Fonera or um, it is actually a Linux based uh, torrent program uh, it has never been installed we're gonna do the first installation on our external hard drive so this is what it should say please try again in a few minutes yeah the Fonera gives some really strange messages uh, during this installation bit but don't worry it should install it in a few minutes so let's refresh that alright so this is what torrent looks like or transmission looks like when it's in, once it's installed and basically um, there is a, a space here to show you what files or what torrents um, the Fonera is managing. Currently it's empty so we don't have any installation or we don't have any torrents downloading. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a torrent to download. So this should open up and the password or the username is Fonero, F-O-N-E-R-O. -E it's the same for every machine and the password is your admin password that you use to enter the dashboard. I believe our default one was admin, A-D-M-I-N, so go ahead and put in admin. I'm going to log in. And this is what's going to show the screen right here. And uh, there's an open tab. And it's going to ask us to select a torrent. So I'm going to choose. And um, I have a torrent from a legal, legal torrent download called Maxton so the, the file extension is .torrent and of course you can download any other torrent that you want but this is just uh, the torrent that I've chosen so I'm just gonna go ahead and double click this and hit upload and uh, this is really cool because now the Fonera at our instruction has downloaded a torrent file and is managing the download of this particular file mx3.2.0.2000.exe which is um, a browser uh, a new browser that I'm, I'm planning on trying out 
And what's really cool about this is the fact that this is actually happening in the Fonera. And we can go ahead and close this. And if you see in my windows, you know, we don't have anything downloading. This particular file now is showing up on the transmission or the torrent portion of the dashboard, if you can see. And it has a progress tab as well. It is at 18 point or 25 percent now. And this is all happening in the Fornera itself. So you can close this, X this out, and go out and leave your, your computer closed, like shut it down. And the phone is going to download this file for you and store it in your external hard drive. So that way you won't be wasting any electricity by keeping your, your laptop on. You won't be ruining your laptop, which is, uh, you know, keeping your laptop on for hours while you're downloading huge files is, is perhaps one of the reasons why you can um, bust it really quickly. So, uh, you know, the Fonera helps you save electricity, helps you keep your laptop in top condition. And uh, also, a really cool thing about this is uh, transmission, uh, which is now sitting in your Fonera, can be controlled by this program. Uh, I'll close in on this. This is called Transmission Remote GUI. And um, we'll put up a link where you can download it. So, uh, Remote Transmission GUI is basically used to manage your torrent downloads from your Fonera. That means um, your Fonera is downloading your torrents and this is like a remote control software that sits in Windows. They have a version for Linux. They even have a version for uh, the Android and the iPhone. So you can download this uh, application on your external, on your um, Android device. Um, in our case here, this is um, Transmission Remote GUI for Windows. And we're going to use this to connect to um, the Fonera and manage our downloads uh, in the Fonera. So um, let's create a connection, a new connection. And the remote host here is Fonera, F-O-N-E-R-A. The port is 9091. You do not have to use SSL. The username is Fonero, F-O-N-E-R-O. And the password is your password for that dashboard page, which um, in our case was uh, admin. And uh, remember, you need to be connected to um, the default uh, signal or the Wi-Fi from the Fonera to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And if you see, immediately it connected to our Fonera where we were downloading the MX 3.2.0.2000.exe file. So this file is being downloaded by the Fonera. And from my Windows machine, I can stop the download. I can remove the download. And the best part is I can initiate a download for the Fonera from my Windows machine. So I started a new download in the Fonera from my Windows. And as soon as this is done, I could just X this. And the Fonera is still going to be downloading. So. Uh, Here's an example. I have nothing on, on my Windows machine. Um, this machine is uh, not downloading anything. But when I click on transmission, it shows you that the Fonera is still downloading this file. So this is one of the really cool things about uh, the Fonera. You can use this to download uh, torrents. You can even use the download manager to download uh, files from browsers and uh, we're going to set up an, an, a new video uh, to show you how to do that and uh, you know it's really efficient and really good use for your um, electricity you're not going to be wasting your electricity and uh, you can download uh, videos movies all the big files this way and uh, it's really efficient uh, thank you for watching and uh, we hope this video was helpful for you